The story of Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, the arrogant and oppressive Pharaoh, and the escape from Egypt. The Pharaoh that ruled in the time of Prophet Moses was a very arrogant, oppressive tyrant who would declare to be God and slaughter newborn sons because he was afraid a boy might grow up and destroy his kingdom. When Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, was born, Moses' mother was very worried that the oppressive Pharaoh was going to slaughter her baby, but Allah the Glorious inspired her to make a wooden box, place him in it, and cast him into the river without fearing or grieving, because he would surely return him to her and make him one of his messengers. The palace servants found the basket with Prophet Moses as a baby and took it to Pharaoh and his wife Asiya, who unlike her husband was a pious and righteous woman. She said to the Pharaoh, he will be the comfort of our eye for me and you. Do not kill him, perhaps he may benefit us or we may adopt him as a son. So they took him and she built a special love for this baby. She was not able to have a baby of her own. Allah saved Moses when he was a baby, and he was never harmed. As Prophet Moses got older, Allah blessed him with good judgment, knowledge, good health, strength, and wisdom. One day Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, who was not a prophet yet, saw two men fighting. One was an Israelite and the other was an Egyptian. The Egyptian was beating up the Israelite. Once Prophet Moses saw this, he got angry and immediately struck the Egyptian who ended up dying on the spot. Realizing that he accidentally killed someone without meaning to do so, he felt regret and begged Allah for forgiveness, and Allah forgave him. When Prophet Moses realized that the chief was looking for him to trial him and kill him, he escaped Egypt quickly without taking anything with him. As he was fleeing, he sat under some shade and saw a band of shepherds watering their sheep. And two sisters were struggling to try to hold their animals from running into the lake to drink. Prophet Moses walked up to them and asked them what's the matter and why weren't they letting their animals drink like the rest of the animals. They replied they wanted to wait until the men were finished feeding their animals water before they feed their animals because they didn't want to mix with the men and their father was too old to do it. Prophet Musa voluntarily took their animals and went down to the lake to feed their two sisters' animals. Then he returned the animals to the sisters and started to walk over to the shade away from the sisters. Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, wanted to make up for the mistake he made in Egypt by doing some good deeds. As he was returning to the shade under a tree, he made a dua to Allah. He asked Allah to send him whatever good his way and he would be grateful, and he is poor and has nothing. After that, the young ladies returned home earlier than usual, which surprised their father. After the father heard what had happened, he asked his daughters to invite him over to thank him for what he had done. The girl that he helped came back shyly and told Prophet Moses that her father wanted to thank him for what he did, so he went to her dad. One of the daughters suggested to her father that he should employ Prophet Moses as he was strong and trustworthy and they could use his help. Her father offered Prophet Moses a job, food, and even married his daughter to him. Ten years passed, Prophet Moses decided to go back to Egypt with his family.